hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is another episode of black girl magic i did a video last year on black girl magic and it's my most watched video so in today's video i'm doing it on requests because it's my most watched video and people have been commenting that i do another makeup on a dark skin so guys here it is and if you want to watch this video please if you're interested please keep on watching and also this model was brought by one of my students so this is more like a class my students were watching while i filmed so i wanted to you know grant your request please subscribe to this channel and in case you are new here my name is Olochin will be daniel a youtuber based in enugu nigeria and a bridal artist so if you want to know how i achieve this look keep on watching so to begin with her makeup i started off with moisturizing i've already done her brows off camera and i also did her um i also cleansed her face off camera so i only use moisturizer on her because she has an extremely dry skin guys i mean the moment i saw her face i knew she had dry skin so that's the reason why i'm only using moisturizer and i use the course rx so for foundation i use three lightweight foundation the nyx glow foundation in um chestnut and deep espresso and i also mixed it with um v beauty foundation i'm going to leave the name in the description box so i mix the three of them and for the sponge i'm using i know you guys are used to me using um the y glam beauty sponge but this one is the mirror cosmetics and guys i don't know it is too soft you can see that it was so easy for me to blend this foundation and everything went right into the skin so I know I have a fave, but this one is my new fave. This is Mera Cosmetics Beauty Sponge. It comes in different colors and different shapes, and they are all soft. Okay, so I know the first video I did on the black girl, I used an orangey to red blush, but this time around, I'm going pink. So I wanted to show you guys that um you can't you, you mustn't use only orange blush blushers on deep dark skin you can also use pink i can also use purple so i decided to mix this light pink and um a darker pink to uh, you know i mix them together to get the perfect shade that i want and as you can see it goes well with her skin tone i really love the outcome i went ahead to add the darker pink just to intensify you know the cheeks i really want the cheeks to pop because that skin you know and colors are very very friendly so they are color friendly so that's why i decided to use pink so i forgot to mention that most of the products i'll be using for this glam is drugstore stroke nigerian brand so this is me using the la pro concealer this is in deep espresso sorry i forgot that deep espresso doesn't go with concealer as so well i use the deep espresso for the nyx foundation so for this one it's just espresso um this is um the la pro concealer and i just put a little bit of it and using the same beauty sponge from the merak cosmetics this sponge is the truth really it is the truth and i need to cop more i mean i'm used to using a particular brand and i mean they just buy me up like i find it hard to you know move to another one so but this one i love it and it comes in pink and in black and 
three different shapes and they are all you know soft and for my setting powder guys you know that merak for now is my number one so i'm using the shade in nutmeg i'm using the same beauty sponge but first of all i'm going to use this eyeshadow blending brush from vika bell eyeshadow set to set under the eyes using that same merak cosmetics now the reason why i'm using brush is because i don't want to put too much of product i feel that using a sponge is going to make me take too much and i'm going i, I just need to lightly set that area remember that she is dark skinned and you don't need to overdo because there's a way you do this makeup on a dark skin and they start looking like they don't they, they wouldn't look like themselves so i really need to maintain her skin tone her undertone and everything about her look so i need to go minimal so after that after setting everywhere that i used um the setting powder i will rather where i used my concealer that's the only place I get to set and I'm going to set the face using the Dabelle Cosmetics powder. You guys know that this palette is also a fave for me. I know I use other high-end brands but because this glam is strictly drugstore and Nigerian brands, I want to show you that you can achieve a very flawless makeup even on a very dark skin with Nigerian brands. So I'm using this brush i can't even remember the name to so set all the places i um set the foundation per se with the powder so for the nose contour i'm using an eyeshadow brush and using the same powder shade i used all over her face i don't think i want to go darker because already she's a dark model i don't want to make her look even darker okay so that's the reason why i use the same shade as her um her skin shade to contour so i'm doing a reverse with the i'm doing a reverse with the merak setting powder in nutmeg and you can see that less is more on this look so moving on i'm using my morphe bronzer in Pro Digi, I'm going to use it as a transition shade, more like giving her eyeshadows some background. So I'm going for a smoky eye with pigments, but this Pro Digi is more like a very dark brown, and I love that it's pigmented. So I love the effect it's giving on that crease. And then for my smoky, I'm starting off with a base, and the base is going to be Tehila Gel Liner. If you have been on this channel, you know that I will never use any eyeliner except Angel Gel Liner. But remember, Nigerian brands, drugstore, drugstore brands, that's what I'm using for this look. So I'm going to use this Vika Bell um, Tiny Eyeshadow Buffer Brush to just um blending that gel liner on her eyelid i love this tahila because it is dark i know it's not as you know as awesome as my inglot yes i call it my inglot because i can't do without it but this is actually a good one guys it's really good i mean i used it to even line her eyes you can never catch me do that but i love it so in case you can afford inglot which is like thirteen thousand in the in the nigerian markets and is very scarce you can use tahila cosmetics and you can also use zaron cosmetics so I'm going to just set that eyeliner with a black eyeshadow. So I use a black eyeshadow from my Kansi collection in Diva, no, sorry, Amara palette. You can use any black eyeshadow. So when I placed that on my liner, I decided to, you know, blend out towards the outer corner of the eye using my Vika Bell eyeshadow brush. So Vika Bell is my go-to eyeshadow brush. I always mention it on this channel. 
I've really not fallen in love with any other. Okay, I think um, Jessup from AliExpress is good. Uh, yeah, Jessup is very good. And some other brushes from AliExpress. Billy is very good because I know that I started with Billy, but, you know, waiting for my product to come in a month's time, I wasn't ready for it. So I had to cop the, um, the Vicar Bell eye set and I love it so much. So after I blended the black eyeshadow, I went in with the same background shade that's the Morphe in Pro Digi to just, you know, blend out the black making sure that it's not giving harsh lines so the next thing i did was to tight line with this awesome charcoal pencil in mera cosmetics and after that i went ahead to use my nyx pigment primer on top of the black eyeshadow because i'm ready to use pigments so for the pigments i use i use three luster cosmetics pigments i'll be leaving them in the i'll be leaving them in the um description box i use chaos and i also use used um extra legend the first one which is this one is rebel rebel is purple kind of purple red in color and the next one is the Extra Legend. They are almost in the same family of purple, but if you can see that the Rebel looks more reddish than the Extra Legend. So I'm placing the Extra Legend right now. And the last one I will be placing is in Chaos. Chaos has a little bit of green. So I'm just using on the outer corner and I'll tap it gently into the Extra Legend. Okay, now you can see what the eye makeup looks in on low lights because I really love to showcase my pigment work on low lights. That way you see the beauty of it. So moving on, I had to line her eyes using the same Tahila Cosmetics eyeliner. Yes, I use Tahila Cosmetics. <laughs> Oh, uh, usually I'll use ink glove, but yes, I'm gradually, you know, stepping out of my comfort zone, and I really love the outcome. And if you notice, I didn't give it, I didn't give her cut eyes. Usually, what I do with ink glove, but I stopped at the end of the outer corner of the eyes, and I had to smudge it using a detailer brush. And now to make to highlight that area, giving it a more foxy effect, I had to use the Mera Cosmetic in Nutmeg. So moving ahead, I lined her waterline and back, and I tight lined again with the Mera Cosmetics. This charcoal liner is everything and more. The fact that it doesn't run, like it's matte and it's long-lasting. I mean, if you don't want to use gel liner, this is a good buy, guys. So I used it and then I went ahead to use the same detailer brush I used in smudging to smudge down to her lash line. I don't want the smudging to be too much because I'm really going to go back with another shade there. But while at it, I had to place lashes, and this is from Rowan Beauty. I love these lashes because it's lightweight. They are mink fox lashes. So after placing it, I went ahead to apply my blusher. This is a powder blush from NARS. Yeah, I know that it's, it's high-end, but that's fine too. This is NARS blush, and um exhibit is either exhibit a or orgasm x but i'm going to leave it in the description box i'm not sure which one it is because i have both of them so moving ahead i had to add some pigments on the lash line and i used the same pigment primer and yeah, that's the nyx and then after placing a little bit of that with a flat brush i went ahead to place this luster pigment in lemonade i don't know what i lo just love green green is my favorite color so i like to implement it on almost everything so to further smudge her 
lash line i'm using this purple eyeshadow from um younger beauty this is younger beauty palette so i uh, know it's not so obvious but it was obvious so setting her face i'm using this kiss beauty spray to set her face and another thing i did was after spraying her face i still sprayed a little bit of the spray on my sponge and i had to blend all those inner parts of the make um inner part of her face like under her eyes making sure that everything is well set and this helps to take out every powdery effect on the face so moving on i had to do her lips now guys this lip hmm, i was so confused of the lip to do first of all i wanted to line her lips with a darker um lip stain but i figured that my some of my products were not in the studio because i worked last week so i just used what i had in the studio on the model today so i would have used my classic lip stain in um i can't forget the color the shade now again it's very dark it's more like the darkest shade okay it's in thunder precisely thunder but i didn't use it because it was not in the studio so i had to mix this brown lip stain from those of colors in chocolate wasted i mixed it with the brown um lipstick in my eye magic palette then i further went to use this burnt pink color i don't know what to call it but it's more like a dark pink so i'm going to use it i actually love the outcome but at some point i felt like i didn't like it again so i added a little bit of nude in the center i don't know which one you guys prefer but i did the first one apply so pro um gloss at the center i was actually done with the lip before i felt like i needed to add um some thing else at the center but do you know what after adding the nude at the center i felt like <laughs> i would have just left it this way okay so whichever one works for you guys this look is really all about the skin and the eyes so permit me if you don't like the lips at the end okay i'm sorry about that i just had to do what came to mind okay so i moving ahead i had to glow up her skin using this candy glow by younger beauty in yeah is it yowa or yawo it's more like the darker shade they have so using an eyeshadow brush this is a blending brush from the same vika bell yes they have in black purple and pink so i'm using this one to place the highlights and it's best to use very little little of this highlight goes a long way like i mean i think on this other side i kind of added too much nobody's above mistake i i mean nobody's above mistake guys so <laughs> all you need to do is to blend down or use another brush to blend down okay so I placed on the bridge of her nose, a little bit on her forehead, and that's it. Okay, so because I wanted to make this do the make um sorry, <laughs> I wanted this makeup to look a little bit dewy. I went in with the, my dewy balm. Okay, so this is my Dennis Amarix dewy balm in rose water. You can see that it has a little bit of pink and that's why i used it on her because the blush we used earlier was pink i don't know if this voiceover is too fast but i'm sorry <laughs> i hope you understand so after that i went ahead to use mascara on her lower lash because i wanted it to pop you know this is more like the finished look and this is a necessity it's always good to you know use mascara on the lower lashes you can have um um fox lashes for uh on on the upper lash and then you won't use mascara on the lower lash i'm not really a big fan of using 
lashes on the lower lash not a fan so that's why i make sure i always use mascara so when getting mascara get the ones that have double ones so that you can use a tiny part for the lower lashes so you can see the nude lips i the nude shade i added to the lips i don't know if i like it but i I felt like I preferred the first one. So whichever one you prefer, please leave it in the, the comments below. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to turn on the post notification just in case I drop another video. Like, comment, and share this video to your friends a lot of people are having difficulties with doing makeup on dark people please share this video i love you all bye